30 years old. Couture, 43 years old. Sylvia, 86 inch reach. Nearly a full foot more of a reach than the heavyweight champion of past, Randy, the natural couture. Big John McCarthy, our referee. if we get back there. But Sylvia has a great chance, as you pointed out here, to regain his composure. Well, he has very good defense on the ground. And you know what? Randy has been saying that, I mean, everybody always says they're better now when they try to make a comeback. But Randy's been saying that his problems were emotional. That his problems were he's going through a, a, a tumultuous period in his life where he had all this stuff happening and the divorce and all these emotions and his children and all that stuff. But now he's in a good place. He's got a new woman. He's got a new life. And he feels like himself again. to big John McCarthy telling Sylvia, I'm not standing you up in this position of dominance for Couture. Which I completely agree with. I hate all stand-ups. I think it's a five-minute round. It's a short amount of time. If a guy like Sean Shirk can hold you down and punch you in the face for five minutes, tough balls. That's it. That's how it goes, right? That's the fight. That's how it goes. You're on your back. Tough. Get up. Figure out a way to get up. It's a part of the game. Part of the game is grappling. And if it's boring, you know what? Baseball's about a million times boring. <laughs> a million times boring, it lasts a lot longer. I think grapplers should have a chance to keep a guy on the ground as long as they can. I completely disagree with stand-ups. Now, in this particular situation, Randy has a good position, yes. but has he done anything with it yet? Well, he's waiting for Tim to make a mistake. Gotcha. You know, he's holding on to this position. He's waiting for Tim to do something, try to explode, to try to move, to expose that neck. And Randy is an excellent grappler. He's got great submissions. He recently fought a pure submission grappling match against Jacques Array, who is one of the greatest submission grapplers in the world. And he held his own and, and went to, to a draw with him. And even had his back at one point in time. Still plenty of time left in round number one. This battle on the canvas came to fruition because of a big right hand thrown by Randy Couture. But Sylvia has stayed calm. He's postured up a bit. The only he hasn't made the mistake Randy's looking for. The only problem, though, is Randy's done no damage here. Yes. He's allowed Tim to recover. Because Tim is in some big, big trouble. I mean, nobody expected that. Well, and that, again, is a credit to Sylvia's conditioning. Because as you talked about before, the only way you recover from a big punch is if you've got excellent conditioning. Yeah, for sure. And, and it he, happened right away, obviously. He's always been a guy that recovers quickly. I mean, he's always in excellent condition. I mean, he recovered quickly from the Orlowski punch, yep. and moments later knocked Orlowski out. I mean, that's, that's that's the kind of guy he is. So right now, Randy needs to take advantage of this advantage. Yeah, you got to beat Tim Sylvia. He's not going to give up. Scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Championship fight here tonight. Four minutes are gone in round one. You, you, you see how difficult it is to submit a guy when he's got good uh, back defense and he can grab a hold of those gloves. I mean, those gloves make it difficult. Trying to work his hands in now is Couture. But see, Tim just keeps holding on to those gloves. How about having a 280-pound man laying on you for five minutes? You know what? I don't think that's possible. He is in phenomenal shape. That's a strong thing that's always consistent with the natural. Tim's going to try to turn towards him and then be in Randy's guard. You see what he's doing? 
He's trying to turn his head, but you know what? Randy's doing a great job of holding him there. 20 seconds remains. Let go of the material of the glove. Grab the hand, Tim. Tim's going to survive round one. Randy's going to win round one. But he's not going to win the fight here in round one. But he has sent a message to Tim Sylvia that he is for real. And he is back. His beautiful wife, Kim. How happy is she right now? Let's take a look at that right hand. Throws the leg kick, comes down with everything on it. And the big man goes down. Bam! I do not think Tim Sylvia expected that to happen. Using your fakes, getting him out of position, okay? Hey, that gave him a false sense of security, but he still might come out and shoot on you, okay? What a great trainer Pat Miletic is. He knows his stuff. Good, good job, brother. Eddie Bravo, you're scoring in round one. Tim Sylvia's back. 10-9, Randy Couture. Tim Sylvia showed excellent rear naked choke defense. Textbook, really. So 10-9, round one on Eddie's scorecard. Now Tim wants to get into utilizing his range. Randy wants to duck under, clinch, and take Sylvia back down. Close the gap. Good uppercut by Tim on the inside. Oh, over the top of the right again. Again, like I said, Couture worked out with 6'9", Liz Sims, 6'7", Dan Christensen, Frank Mir, amongst others, including 6'2", 350-pound Eric Taylor. is just a number when you're ready to tour. Look at the size difference between these two guys. I mean, it's so evident when you see them pressed up against each other like that. Very similar to the size difference between Arlovsky and Sylvia, or anybody else, basically, and Sylvia. Well, the way you can really tell is that there's no way Tim Sylvia could ever make 205. You know, I mean, Randy Couture made it fairly easy. He's got to hold that leg and he can't even budge it. Now, I know when they train together, he used a lot of leg sweeps to take Tim down. And I'm sure Tim's aware of that. He's been training very hard to avoid that. He's got to the takedown. Couture looking to impose his will on Sylvia. Big right hand by Randy for the bottom. Excuse me, I, I'm Tim on the bottom. 
Tim's bloodied up a bit. The nose of Tim Sylvia. Come on, let's go. It is bloodied up. I like how Big John's not standing this up. Give him time to work. John knows oh, both of these go. fighters very, very well. Yes, and their tendencies. And you know what? That's why he's the best referee in the game. Amen. Another elbow. More ground and pound for Couture. Sylvia battling. One minute now remains in round two. Remember, it's a championship fight, as I mentioned earlier. So this could go 25 minutes. And Randy's got to be careful with these arms in like that. As he's sliding back and forth, he's got to make sure that he's got both arms in and elbows pressed on Tim's chest. If he makes a mistake and leaves one arm in, Tim for sure is going to throw up a triangle. He did it on Jeff Monson, and I guarantee you he's looking for it here. But meanwhile, he's eating elbows and punches. Stop it right there. Let's go. We're standing up. Let's go. Here's the stand-up, but the time is ticking away. can end this fight. It almost did. You know what? Nice a right hand punch. from Couture. Look, 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 look. You got that right. Great point. Left hook by Randy. Ten seconds remains in the second round. And if I was in Tim's corner, I would be telling him to start throwing some kicks. Knee. Nice knee. But Randy got a cut. Good job by Tim and Brady. Here's a big right hand from the top. Away. All right. You get on him now. He's tired. And he Walk him down. Just like the first round, Couture landed another big right hand. He got the takedown, but this time he uh, stayed in Tim Silva's guard, where I think he should stay. He should stay in his guard and, and work his ground and pound action. And even though Tim Silva landed some good elbows from off his back, Still, another 10-9 round for Randy Couture. Two love Couture on Eddie Bravo's scorecard. The 6'8 champion against the 6'2 Hall of Famer. Good luck to the landing. See how he, he's, he's avoiding that big reach. He's ducking. He's going side to side you know very well, Joe. That side to side is Joe. If Tim can figure it out, if he can time it, he can land a knee or a kick. And that's going to be up. That's what Randy's doing. He's going side to side every time. But if Tim fakes that jab and throws a right head kick, yep. see that? Absolutely. I mean, Tim's avoiding the kicks because he doesn't want his leg to get grabbed and get taken down. But man, if he lands one. Another right hand by, Tim, by Randy. To the side and then over the top. To the side and over the top. That's Randy's strategy here. But as you mentioned, you never want to get into a predictable pattern because that's when your opponent can take advantage. Well, I'll tell you what, it looks like he's learned something from his fights with Chuck Liddell, and that's for sure. He's not rushing in. He's throwing a lot of feints. He's making Tim think. That is the difference between the striking that we see sometimes in the UFC and top-level striking. You know, if you watch, like, top-level boxers or K-1 fighters, they throw a lot of feints. Oh, Damn. Yeah, how good is that? Beautiful head movement. I mean, that's the thing you get from a guy like Graham. He's a consummate athlete. He's always learning. Even at 43, he doesn't allow age to limit him. I mean, this is a style we've never seen from him before. Chuck Liddell as well. You know what, man? Maybe Randy was telling the truth. Maybe the problems in his last two fights were the fact that he was going through this big divorce and he was emotionally unsound. He outstruck Pedro Rizzo as well as a heavyweight did Randy Couture. Oh, look at the right hand. Sylvia 
clearly frustrated. Couture clearly in control. But again, one big punch or kick from the Maniac. And this could all go away for Randy Couture. And, and Randy leg knows kicks that. As well. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised Tim's not throwing any leg kicks. Another right hand. Yeah, that's how, as you talked about, I just don't think he wants to make the legs vulnerable for Randy to take him back down. But he's got to do something to change it up. Well, the problem is also when you get frustrated and you start losing your confidence, you go to your bread and butter. You don't go to the big head kick. You don't go to the crazy stuff. You go to stuff that you, you feel confident in. He got rocked again with a left. Good knee by Tim Sylvia, though, in the clinch. Sylvia has not taken advantage of his reach advantage yet. And that's the one thing Couture needed to uh, neutralize. Their team extended a little bit, but Randy able to avoid. Under two minutes remains in the third round. Randy just take a deep breath. Minute 45 to go. Tim said Randy definitely lit a fire under me. Coming back and thinking he was going to take away what I so desperately love. Another left hook by Randy. I mean, you can count the number of punches that Tim's landed on your hands. Who would have ever thought this? You would have. Because no one ever doubts Randy Couture. You know that. <laughs> you know, I mean, the guy is constantly You weren't amazing. sure what happened, but I know you thought it a couple of times. Because the one thing consistent about Randy Couture is he's always consistently a competitor. He's tired here. One minute remains in the third. The entire round spent on the feet, and Randy Couture is winning a kickboxing battle against a guy almost a foot taller than him. Randy breathing out of his mouth. He's got to keep that head movement. I mean, that six-inch height advantage is huge. The reach advantage is huge, and Randy's the one who's landing the punches. Oh, first the body shot, then over the top. He's coming over the top like Chuck Liddell does. He's and look at the look on Tim Sylvia's face. He's being much more versatile in his strikes. He's mixing things up, whereas Tim is being one-dimensional. And I think that's a that's a, a, a testament to him being frustrated. Yeah, okay. Now, when Randy said he thought he saw holes in Tim's game, and he's picking apart those holes right now. Up and cut by Couture, caught the chin. Three rounds in the books. Do all three belong to Randy Couture, Eddie Bravo? Absolutely. Round three was amazing for Randy Couture. I mean, he's putting on a boxing clinic. I lost track of how many left hooks he landed in right hands. At least six left hooks and six or seven right hands. Complete domination by Randy Couture, 10-9. Now that takedown is there. Matt Hughes was screaming in the corner to Tim Sylvia. Push that pace. Push that pace. What we're looking for, okay? You don't know. Randy is yeah, breathing very yeah. hard in this round. You're doing a great job of keeping your right up on his hooks. Now keep your left up a little bit, okay? Push the pace, Tim. This is where we are working, buddy. You have to push the pace. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, push him around, Tim. Keep him, keep him back. No fans. Hey, you started working the jab like this to see what. Work your jab, see where his head moves, and hit it. Can Tim Sylvia. Stop the train. Momentum clearly in Couture's favor. You ready? You ready? The Warriors Yo, come, come out for round number four. We move into the championship rounds. If this was exactly. a non title fight, Randy would already win the decision. They both have been in five round wars on multiple occasions in their career. Good sprawl by Tim. Very good defense by Tim Sylvia. And a good knee inside. And Randy's got down. Down. He takes him down again. Unbelievable. The clock quickly becoming Tim Sylvia's enemy. Tim's lifting his legs up. He's working that high guard. He's got those long, powerful legs. See Tim trying to submission here. Joe, there is not one fan sitting right now for this title fight. Uh, Everyone is on their feet. How can you? Oh, what a moment indeed. But still, lots of time remains. Lots of things can happen in nine minutes inside the octagon. Good right hand to the top by Randy.
and he's postured up here. Now moves the hand and then hits with the left. Body shot. Again, you got to be careful because Tim, Tim's not going to knock you out from here, but he can do some damage sitting up and throwing that hand. Good posture by Randy. Randy has been in total control. Complete. I mean, this is amazing. Submission. He's got to do it now. Here they go. Standing up for 252 remaining in the fourth. Tim's got to throw with some reckless abandon here, too. At one point, the only thing he's going to be able to hope for is a knockout finish. As he is well behind on the judges' scorecards. He's, he's poking them out there. It looks like he's just constantly worried about that take down. Anytime he can get the clinch, he's going to try to take he's it. He's got him again. And down goes control. Sylvia. Side control for Couture. This is a complete domination. This is crazy. Is this more shocking to you thus far than it was when he completely dominated Chuck Liddell? Yes, yes it is, because he's older, he's 43 years old, he's coming back from two knockouts. You know, I mean, this it's, is amazing. 43-year-old guys are not supposed to dominate in combat sports. Well, this isn't your normal 43-year-old guy. This is Captain America. Under 90 seconds remains in the fourth. He's smothering Tim here. Grab the hand, not the glove. There you go. Randy goes to the mat. He's got a mount Randy Couture. Full mount with one arm trapped. This is big. Tim Sylvia. And now Sylvia's worn down. If Randy Couture rises up and starts raining punches, turns his back. Oh, he's oh, great job by Tim. Very good job by Tim Sylvia. He what Tim would love to do here is lean on Randy a little bit, try to take some more of his gas. Put 280 pounds on top of him. And for the first time, Sylvia is scoring points. Randy's back up to his feet. Great job. Notice how Randy kept all four, all four points on the ground. Yes. So Tim couldn't throw the knee. If Randy would have brought one of those hands up, Joe, Tim could have thrown a knee. Yeah, and you know what? There's another weird point of debate where I completely disagree. Well, I think you should be able to knee a guy on the ground. Be a knee standing up, why can't you knee him on the ground? We are headed to the football and final round. My Jews is very, very concerned. Stay the man of Tim Sylvia. Again, Randy Couture started that round with a takedown, had some ground and pound action. And even though Sylvia got a break with that stand up, Randy landed some a couple right hands, got another takedown, ended up, up in side control, ended up in the mouth. Randy Couture, 10 9, complete shutout. Tim Sylvia needs a knockout to win this one. You quit hesitating now. And when you're in tight, you're throwing elbows, right? You tie up with his head, hit him with the knee, boom, come with the elbows right away. Fifth round? Yep, it's the fifth you. round. Time to finish it. You are unstoppable. Time to finish, my man. Mouthpiece, put it in. Time to finish. Yeah. Finish, Tim, finish. You saw Tim just ask, is this the fifth round? Will we have the Hall of Famer return 
to glory. Or will Sylvia knock Couture out here in the fifth? This really is crazy. Manny Couture is four minutes and 45 seconds from becoming a five-time UFC belt holder. Three in the light heavyweight division. This could be the right hand third right in the heavyweight division. Well, good uppercut inside by, by Tim. Randy was looking to sweep the foot. Amazing how strong he is. We're talking about a guy who's at least 50 pounds heavier than that. He's mad. And down he goes again. He's in half guard now. Tim is very frustrated. His mouth is wide open. He's breathing heavy. He's mauling him on top. Randy in half guard here, Joe. Four minutes away. From regaining the heavyweight title. Elbows on the top by Randy. He's got that leg in half guard, but nothing's keeping it there. If he wanted to, he could pass, but you know what? Randy likes to hold on that half guard and stay there. He thinks it's an opportunity to keep his leg in that Oh, there goes Fritz. He turns out as his side control. Spins into side control. That was a beautiful move. Tim left for a leg, and that cost him a position. Randy's in a better position now than he was before. Tim's pushing off the fence, trying to rotate around. Randy's having none of it. This would be a huge upset. Couture. Trying to become the oldest heavyweight champion, the first three time heavyweight champion, and the first five time UFC champion. This really is crazy. He is two minutes and 55 seconds away from a triumphant return from retirement. He's got to stay busy here, though. He doesn't want Big John to stand him up. He's in such a dominant position. He's got to land some shots. Big John's looking at them.
The scoring right now is just academic. Unbelievable! That is why he came out of retirement. Wow. Eddie Bravo. Nobody on this planet thought Randy Couture can strike with Tim Seale. He completely owned him. He landed like 20 hooks, 25 straight right hands. No one thought he was going to take Tim Sylvia down. He took him down like seven times. Complete domination, complete ownage. Randy Couture, 50 to 45. He's the new champion. Wow. wow. Dana this White, Lorenzo. Crazy. Even Lorenzo Fertitta just said exactly what we did. Yeah. Wow. This is so crazy. So crazy. His wife Kim. <laughs> wow. I mean, this is just insane. The Hall of Famer is once again the champion. <laughs> totally dominated. Tim the Maniac Sylvia for 25 minutes. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45 with a winner by unanimous decision. And now, once again, the new... Champion of the world! Ooh.